The People's Democratic Party has marked its 25th year of existence while also declaring that the 16 years of the part, that the party was in power were the golden years for Nigeria and Nigerians. In a statement in Abuja to mark the anniversary, the National Publicity Secretary of the PDP, Debo Ulugwagba, said the party decided on a low-key celebration as there was nothing to rejoice about because the ruling All Progressives Congress had frittered away all the progress the PDP made in 16 years within eight years. Now for a conversation, we are now being joined by a former national chairman of PDP, Alhaji Abubakar Kawubaraje, who joins us on the Silver Jubilee of the party and its future in Nigerian polity. Good to have you on Newsday. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. Thank you very much. Well, can you talk to us about the journey so far in the last 25 years? Would you say that the PDP has lived up to the ideals and expectations of its founding fathers? Thank you very much, Awa um, and Timitope. The PDP actually um, marking its silver jubilee is a worthy exercise. I say it's worthy because we have all the reasons to jubilate, all the reasons to celebrate, <coughs> and all the reasons to quote the 16 years that we use in power as very remarkable, unforgettable, and years of blooming ages, of blooming period for the country, Nigeria. Well. If you don't have um, an alternative to compare with, maybe we must, we may say yes, we have, but we have, Nigerians have an alternative now to compare the period the PDP uh, was in power and the period the present uh, APC is in power. And the, the differences are very clear. We, the PDP was born with the hope of refocusing, realigning, and putting Nigeria back into proper democracy, which we did. And as a matter of fact, fear was at a period that uh, the country was coming under one political party. It was so because you normally want to join a winning team. We started very well on a very good note. In 1988, I mean 1999, uh, when we came into power, and uh, majority of two of the states were in PDP. In fact, at the time, all the states in the southeast, all the states in the south south, with the exception of one state in the um, southwest and three states in the north, all were in PDP, simply because the people saw that the intention of the party, the intention of the founding fathers was selfless, service to the community, and progress for the country. And so people were joining the winning team of the PDP. And for, for those 16 years, we had an unbroken record of true democracy in the country. We have an unbroken record of economy being revitalized. We have an unbroken record of uh, hope coming back into the most populous country in Africa, and that's Nigeria. And it was at that time the giant Africa of Africa was truly being manifested in our democracy, in our economy, and in other social and um, um, physical interactions with the other world. So we have a lot to, to, to celebrate. And today, you all can tell the past eight years plus that the APC came into power. You all can compare that pe this period with what we did within 16 years. Nigeria has been taken back now for several years, even beyond the 1960 when we got our independence. The economy is in ruins. People are shouting. People are crying. Hunger everywhere. Nigeria, the poverty headquarters of the world, and so on and so forth. Education is in shambles. Health system is nothing to write home about. For the past eight years, it has been like that. 
So people have, you know, options now and they know which is better. Unfortunately, some other t factors crept into Nigerian politics and we are witnessing what we've never witnessed be before. What people call democracy now. It's, a, it's on sale and some democracy seems to be purchased in the stalls. And uh, because of hunger, because of poverty, people dance to the soon, tune of um, money, if you, if you say. And that's why we still have the government in power. I mean, if, if it's in power. However, I don't want to go into that now. What is important is that PTP is the best so far since the return of democracy in Nigeria. And Nigerians know this. Thank you. All right, uh, Alaji uh, Kawabaraje, those were some very glowing words for the PDP. Uh, in the last couple of months, uh, years, uh, especially since the Ruli Party has come into play, it seems PDP has a little less of a strong role within the polity, so much so that uh, a lot of the discussion goes around the fact that the APC has no uh, sounding board. It has no opposition, uh, so to speak. So going forward, knowing that the PDP uh, did so much for the country, uh, in your words, in 16 years, what should, we, uh, what should we be expecting from the PDP in order to get its own house in order first and, and then uh, try to help the country get itself back in order? Putting our house in, talking about putting our house in order, yes, every situation, every person, every individual, every country has their difficult times. I know the PDP is going some difficult times now. And I remember the last time we discussed here on, the, on, the, on, on this space, I told you that we are going through uh, some consultations and uh, in political party or in, in, in party politics generally, discussions goes upon discussions. Consultations goes on in order to put situations at rest and that's what we are, we are now. We are at the stage of reformation and, that ref and at the end of the reformation, I think the Nigerians will have the PDP of the olden days even better than what we had in those days back. Um, some of our leaders are not actually uh, happy with what is happening, and some of our um, party members too are not happy about what is happening. But I can assure you that at the end of the tunnel, there is light. At the end of the discussions and consultations, we shall find our feedback and uh, we shall find, we shall chat in a better way for Nigerians if they give us the next opportunity to, 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 to come and govern. And I believe very sincerely, we shall pick the crumbles. We, we, are, we are not used to apportioning blame like APC. We will not start blaming who, who is wrong there, who is wrong. Ours is to come in and repair Nigeria. Ours is to come in and secure Nigeria. Ours is to come in and recover Nigeria from where the ruins has been. And uh, through consultations, through agreement. Remember, PDP was built on several typos. It's standing very firmly on several typos. Leaders, political leaders, were brought in from various parts of the country, the north, the central, the east, the west, the South South were all together to form this party. No part of the country was left behind. And that is why the party has a national outlook right at the beginning up to this present same moment. I mean, you, you all know the battle of APC. How? It's one leg from one side, the head from the other side, and the hair, I mean, the, 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 the ants from the um, some other sites coming together. Um, as, of, as a matter of fact, like I used to say, forming APC is an accident. And uh, things that we put together as an accident can never work like the real uh, uh, object 
where you have a complete body working together, and that's PDP. So as far as we are concerned in PDP, we are undergoing our own reformatory period. And when we reform, no party will be as big, no party will be as strong, no party will be as you know, capable with the capacity that we have on ground. You will realize that even the, the party that is called APC today, look at, look at the entire uh, membership of APC. Who is who in APC today? From their party level to the political appoint, I mean, uh, you know, uh, uh, people, personnel. From the, I mean, from the executive to the parliament, back to the states, even to the local governments. All the skeleton that we have is made up of APC, I mean, the people that come from PDP. And I think some of them have seen it now that where democracy resides is in PDP. And like I told you, it is not here that I'm going to disclose to you what we are doing, how far our consultation have gone. But I think those of them that have compared and they have seen our leaders that are there, we soon find their way back, if not on their even, uh, way back already. So I can assure Nigerians, and I can assure you that the PDP will fly back fully and take off the ruins, repair it in no course of time with experience, capacity, and determination. Uh, now you talked about the 16 years that the PDP was in power as remarkable and the blooming years. But I'd like to remind you that then national chairman of the PDP, Mr. Uche Sakondus, actually apologized to Nigerians, you know, for the mistakes that the PDP made while it was in power and acknowledged that, you know, Nigerians sanctioned the party for what did, you know, for what they termed bad leadership, if you like. Now, what lessons would you now say that the PDP has learned over the years if it cannot even get its house in order to win an election? What lesson then has it learned that will serve it better if it has a chance to govern Nigeria? Thank you very much. Um, you learn lessons in series. The first lesson we learned, and I'll, I'll point out very quickly, is that in every situation you find yourself, and in every circumstances you find yourself, do not put your egg in one basket 100%. That's the first lesson we learned. I think um, some people with some inordinate ambition, if you call it, came in, creep, crept in into PDP without our, know, without our knowing. And people who are really not properly informed or educated about the dreams of the founding fathers of the people, I mean, uh, 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 of a PDP, they crept in and came in with their own thinking, came in with their own, their own sensibilities. And before we know it, they not only, you know, got a place to sit down because of our democratic tendencies, they even built a corner for themselves through the back door. And that surely was the undoing of PDP. And you know when this kind of thing happens, you'll agree with me, you must take very good care it so that you can shift the corn from the shaft. And that's what we are doing. We want to get the people that are really genuine, that, are really, that really have the love of people or serving people in mind. Not people who are coming there with ambition. Not people who are coming there to say, okay, I want to take a portion of uh, 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 Nigeria to somewhere where it doesn't belong. That was the mistake, first thing we learned. Then coming to talk about the apology of uh, uh, one of the national chairman, the past national chairman of TDP. Yes, they might see one or two things, but one thing, one major thing I think uh, our leader, second to saw that made him to apologize to Nigeria, was that um, there was a period, probably during the period when I was there as the chairman, uh, there was a little hitch that gave rise to uh, uh, um, that is uh, the doctrine of necessity. If you remember, those period we really feared a little bit off our vision, and in our attempt to bring it back, was what caused secondaries to apologize to Nigeria. Not because we made a mistake on the economic or bad governance. No. 
if you agree with me, what we had back then, was it not better than what we are having now, economy-wise, direction-wise, vision-wise, purpose, I mean, providing, you know, good governance-wise? I mean, the, 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 the difference is clear. The apology our leaders are going was tendering was basically on administration, not on economy and not on bad governance. Are you people, that's why I was telling you earlier that if Nigerians had cause to compare, then maybe they would have said, oh, no, 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 the PDP should continue to rule. But they had no cause because it has been PDP right from inception. Now Nigerians have cause to choose. And you all know what happened in the 2023 election. The rest is history. Yes, but we are still battling for Nigeria to find its feet so that we can, Nigeria can be properly focused, Nigeria can be properly aligned with the principles of democracy. What we are having now, I'm sorry, is many, many things short of what we can call democracy. The election of 2023 election was a slap on the face of Nigerians. It was not only a slap, it was a triple, a triple, triple trips for Nigerian people. And that's where we find ourselves, where we are. And I'm sorry, if it were to be PDP in power, you know, we plan before we act. We don't act and then begin to say we are planning. It's not, that's not the way to, of life. So the apology you want to talk about, uh, Hawa, is that Hawa who asked the question? The apology you want to talk about is the apology for administrative error, not on economic or misgovernance. Thank you. All right, thank you for that. Um, just to play devil's advocate just for a very short minute, I'll indulge me. Um, I heard this metaphor uh, a few weeks back that said, the cancer that kills you today is not as a result of what you ate today or yesterday or the lifestyle that you led. It's possibly things that have accumulated about 16 years average of things that would have accumulated in order for you to see you very ill. And I just wanted to leave that there. Um, the reports for the port, the reports say that for daring to call for Atiku Abubakar's expulsion uh, from the party, uh, one of the rogue ministers uh, of uh, PDP, Niesam Wike, who is now the minister of the FCT, um, they're saying that he will be disciplined by the National Working Committee of your party. And I mean, not for a history lesson. We do know that. Uh, uh, Wike has run afoul of the party for months, if not years now. Um, does I, I wanted to ask you, uh, with the National Working Committee, do they uh, the injunction that was uh, secured by Wike, obviously preempting uh, his expulsion from the party, if it's something that still holds up, or if uh, it has expired, and exactly how the PDP will go about dealing with him. And I only ask because he's one of the most prominent uh, individuals of the party that seems to be uh, very closely in bed with uh, the opposition. Well, um, as far as I'm concerned, as one of the leaders of uh, the PDP. Uh, His Excellency uh, Honorable Minister Wiki, Governor Wiki, is an individual in the party. He's, a, he's one of the leaders of the party. And um, whatever he does, some of us believe that uh, as a leader of the party who has risen to those levels, he has conscience. If he thinks he's doing the right thing, I think his conscience will tell him. It's very personal. And if he thinks he's doing the wrong thing, the, the leadership of the party will know the appropriate action to take. But the idea is that I'm sure the leadership of the party is doing a lot of adequate consultations vis-a-vis -vis and side by side with the constitution of the party in order to know what next step to take. And whatever step 
you know, the party or the leadership takes about the issue of an individual is part of the reform that I'm telling, I mean, that I've just told you about. Definitely, reformation is coming along in PDP. And uh, it's only uh, an individual that is prominent that people are talking about. There are other issues with the PDP you want to bother about. You're not necessarily bothering about, you know, uh, somebody's opinion or individual opinion. We are bothered about Nigerians. We are bo bothered about good governance. We are bothered about recovering Nigeria. We are bothered about putting Nigeria into the right perspective. We don't, we don't want distraction. And I think uh, the leadership, the present leadership of the party is focusing on those reforms and in preparation to take over power come the, the next election. And don't forget, we are in court already. The, um, our candidate has gone into appeal into the Supreme Court. Some of the things that uh, we think is wrong and are to be corrected, and I believe our judiciary will correct those areas. So, and if they are adequately correct, I mean, corrected, you might come in, into power earlier than you think. So you can only wish us luck. Well, Thank definitely. You. you know, we wish you a lot of luck. Thank you so much, Alhaji Abubakar Kabu Baraje, for joining us yeah. on Easter. <laughs>